I thought that this was a really great visual metaphor that this headline created to talk about XRP Ripple and obviously the SEC lawsuit and what you know will ultimately transpire when what we all really believe what will happen is that the uh, uh, is that Ripple will win the lawsuit against SEC or it will come out that it has been already kind of basically negotiated. I personally believe this. I have no basis in this. this is my opinion. I personally believe because of rumors and the speculation that I've heard. I personally believe that the that that Ripple and the SEC have have met or their attorneys have met and they've really um, in a back room somewhere <laughs> they have negotiated a a a settlement a, a a you know and that that basically shows no fault on Ripple and the SEC can save some face as well etc. That's my personal opinion. Okay. And they're waiting to release that information. But here's what's going to happen. The day that that information goes live, XRP is a volcano that is going to blow. I thought that was a great visual because I firmly believe that, okay? I think that we, most of us really, really do, right? We've got XRP that if you think about it, the lawsuit started in 2017, five years ago. You have five years of pent up demand, volcano, right? erupting volcano that will happen the day that this thing breaks. It is entirely possible that XRP could go north of three, four dollars in one single day. It is five years of pent up demand, a volcano waiting to erupt. I really think that that truly is the situation, right? And Massive fan of XRP. I'm a massive fan of Ripple. What they do, the technology, and what they, how they help, and how they make, uh, you know, the movement of money uh, cheaper for people, and help, I mean, help, you know, communities, and and all. It's just, again, it, it's a. That's not what this video is about, but it's a. It, they're, it's good what they do, you know, and and, um, yeah. So five years of demand volcano waiting to happen now in the overall kind of broad market uh you know we've got a situation playing out where we are waiting on the cpi inflation data report if you didn't know this it's coming out october 13th um and uh, that's the report that's going to tell us the inflation numbers for september uh, remember the august numbers came in at 8.3 percent increase uh year over year uh which was a surprise we were expecting 8.1 so at 8.3 was the august number so if september happens and maybe we get some better numbers. We might get the market to move in the, in the right direction, get some green candle days. We'll see. Uh, but we don't know what, what we, you know, that yet. So I think the overall market's not going to really do anything from here until, uh, you know, until we get that report. Okay. Uh, by the way, in the description below, there is a link to uh, Freedom 365. Check it out. This is a um, a brand new podcast and video series I'm doing with my buddy Zach Humphreys. It's free. Okay, uh, it's a going to be all about you know you know how to achieve financial freedom, uh, being an, how to be being becoming an entrepreneur, how to start your own business. We're going to have a bunch of guests on. It's going to be really really cool. We got four or five uh, episodes recorded right now, getting ready to launch launch this if this is something that you're interested you think is kind of cool so link down there's a link down to this page um, and just go over and give this page uh, on Twitter a follow and then you'll be caught up to date on kind of when we launch it's called freedom 365 because it's all about achieving financial freedom and getting your days back having control of your days ie 365 days a year having the freedom to do with your day as you so choose all right I'll see you have a good one thank you for your support Take care. Bye.